first generation mechanical circulatory support devices were pulsatile pumps. And they were already pretty good because they demonstrated to be better than OMT. But they were uh, quickly uh, substituted by new uh, continuous flow pumps. And here we have two generations. The first generation had an axial design, which was better than the pulsatile design, but the axial design had an issue of friction and heat, and this was associated with thrombotic and embolic events. The most recent Harmate 3, which has a fully levitated technology, doesn't have this problem. It's blood gentle, and it doesn't have thrombotic and embolic events. So I think we have gone a long way through. There's much more to go, but today, these devices are safe and very useful for our patients to improve quality of life and to improve survival. The newest guidelines we have are the 2022 ACCHA HFSA guidelines, and they are quite clear. Uh, they acknowledge the benefit of mechanical circulatory support with a two-year survival over 80%. And they give them a 1A indication in patients with New York Heart Association class 4 uh, dependent on inotropes to improve quality of life and survival. So I think uh, this is the most recent guidelines we have. And a 1A indication, it's already almost a mandatory indication. So I, th I think we're getting, we're getting very close to using these devices in a majority of our patients.